Hi, I am Shalin Rasana from Translational Health Science and Technology Institute, Faridabad. And in this uh, problem statement, I am proposing to explore the N and C terminal of nuclear capsid protein or SARS-CoV-2 for the identification of small molecule. This is a very interesting problem because this problem provides you the opportunity to explore the three types of molecular recognition process. Here, the N and C terminal are the, are the binding sites of RNA and the HOMO dimer formation site of nucleic acid protein. So, to explore and to design the small molecule or identify a small active molecule, we have to first explore the RNA binding site at N terminal and the how the dimer form, form this, uh, to establish the HOMO dimer at C terminal. So these two provide binding site knowledge will be used for the screening of small molecule and at the end you will get the third molecular recognition process that is protein ligand interaction. So to start the work, here we don't have that much uh, structural information available so we have to rely on homology modeling but uh, the best part is we have very close template information available to build the N terminal and C terminal of nuclear capsid independently. And one beneficial step is that these domains work independently, so we can use these domains separately for the virtual screening of the chemical compounds. Uh, the initial step would be the uh, stability and robustness of your uh, designed model. And uh, this homology modeling, uh, the accu its accuracy is the key crucial step in this identification step. Second thing in homodimer formation is a protein-protein interaction driven approach. So you, uh, there is uh, um, um, to get the conventional and the proper well-established architecture of binding site might not be possible. So fragment-based approach or peptide-based approach can be useful to explore the C, term uh, C terminal of uh, nucleic acid protein and these two uh, binding site exploration can be used for virtual screening to come up with the potential uh, compounds which have a very significant docking score and GBSA value and other parameters like pharmacological properties and advent properties to filter out the best compounds and uh, for the uh, for the analysis at the last uh, I would like to emphasize the application of a molecular dynamic simulation to cross-check the identified compounds and their uh, uh, quantification in terms of thermodynamic components so that we can relate with the experimental values. Uh, I hope you like this problem and all the best. Jai Hind.